what's up guys first of all let's give a big thumbs up and say happy birthday to all the ladies here on youtube of course in the world because today is 8th of march and um, yes it's women's day and especially the ladies that follow my channel as you already noticed from the thumbnail today is about the shifter that shakes that it was had okay so uh, now i'm uh, pretty sure that you already know uh, all of my uh, past videos there were a lot of comments about the um, shifter lever and um, the shake that uh, it had and um, first glance and I was pretty sure that um, it was a bushing problem I thought my bushings were not okay and uh, they needed to be replaced but after some time the shaking was pretty intense and one day and I will show you in the next uh, part of the video about a week ago my car started to go crazy a very high vibration inside of it but the seats also it was very very freaky and yeah i went to my favorite um, service it was a flywheel problem why is that because uh five years ago when i did my um when i've changed my distribution uh, chain and uh, the whole assembly the clutch the bearing and the pressure plate but I didn't change the flywheel because it's in good uh, condition and um, that was the situation. But now, after 50,000 kilometers and five years later, the flywheel is already broke. It was the, the real culprit that invoked all of this uh, vibration. So now I'm going to leave you with the clip. Let's go to the trunk and explain uh, the rest of the parts. Okay, so here I have my clutch assembly and here I have my flywheel. This was the original uh, boxes that uh, came with um, the pieces. And uh, because they are all uh, oily and greasy, I am prepared. Uh -huh. One and the second one, no, they are both uh, here. Okay, so these were um, ordered from BMW dealer and uh, they came pretty, pretty quickly. Okay, so here it is, here you can see, oh yeah, and uh, I will tell you what um, I've changed. This is um, a seal that goes behind the clutch and seals the back part of your uh, crankshaft. So this one, mine was uh, a little bit uh, broken, it had a little oil problem and they, uh, no, this is not bent by uh, default, this is bent, uh, when you take it out, I think you, you have to bend it because you take it out with a, um, with a plier or something. So this is the fork, this is, uh, I think uh, this is in pretty good condition, uh, sincerely I didn't know they changed this uh, too, but uh, it's good to, to have this one in here okay so this is the <laughs> the nice part that when you order i don't know if you know what this is um, when you order a new clutch your pressure plate that is uh, down here uh, it came uh, it came with um, comes with this part here that is the pressure plate is this here are some very very tough springs so when you order a new one you have them all pushed in what's with this pressure plate my pressure plate has only 50 uh, thousand kilometers and um, this clutch it's the same uh, as um, as the pressure plate so something to notice i've uh, driven this car only in town as you can see here on this part i'm gonna show you a close-up of uh, these pads here I cannot stick my uh, nail under this because this part is really, really um, worn out. This is the gearbox uh, side. And it means that this part, it touches the flywheel. And this part touches the um, pressure plate. So this part here, I think it has one millimeter or something like that. I don't know if you can see it. 
but um, yeah, it uh, it's better that you you change this when um, I have a crack here. I don't know. Can you hear this? Yeah, I don't know if this is normal, but yeah, I think uh, maybe I don't know. Okay, so this is my clutch disc. So I'll show you in detail this part to see that um, how many uh, how many of these pads are still okay after um, five years. And now let's go to the real culprit. So here, okay. So here we have our friend the fly. Oh my god! Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh shit! <clears throat> yeah. It's not that heavy, I'm just messing around. It's really heavy. <laughs> okay, so let's see now. Oh man, I really didn't expect that. Okay, so if you look pretty close here, oh my, oh look, 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 look. I've lost a few balls for, um, you <clears throat> on this part. You have um, a really tight seal and um, Look, my seal is is gone. So about uh, a few weeks ago, I think only a week, if I uh, am pretty um, honest with you, uh, when my car starts shaking, it was pretty horrible. After that, it just got a little, little bit better, but still horrible. And you can see now, I'm gonna get a close up close up of this here you have um, I have the front side parts that from this ball bearing uh, that um, was covering all of these bolts and um, as you can see I've lost a lot of them because I don't know they grinded you have here the shaft that goes through the crankshaft to the gearbox and um, when it is not aligned properly it goes like this and it wobbles and as you can listen here can you hear i can i can move the inside of the ball bearing and this, this is not normal you cannot you you aren't supposed to do this you see hope you can listen to that okay i'll gonna put my my uh, rest of the parts there let me show you again Okay, I'm gonna, and now let's do a flywheel test. So, look at this rotation. So, trust me guys, this, it is not normal. I think I have here, like, one centimeter off. And it's an uneven rotation, and it is too much. So, a normal flywheel, a new flywheel, won't have that um, big rotation. It only like this, I think. This is a double mass flywheel, and uh, it is not supposed. No, here you cannot see anything on this part, but um, <coughs> on this part, oh god, on this part, and the mechanic showed me something. I have a pretty uneven play. Let me see. Let's put it down a little bit and see it on the floor. <laughs> Not that big of a of a of a play on the in and out part. I, I cannot grab it to see if I let's see. No, I have a big play. You see? Okay, but this oh my god, but this is horrendous. This is horrendous. Look, this is not normal. Okay? So, this type of movement you can only see in a bad flywheel. And here, no, no this is normal. I don't think uh, this was an uneven. So, uh, here it um, the disc, the clutch disc, you have it sitting like this. Okay. So my because of this bearing here, this one, that 
this one shakes and it was not as you can see here the bearing it is not aligned properly here this is much closer than this here and you have a gap so if you put this disc like this okay and you have the shaft the shaft has movement if the shaft the inner shaft has movement around here and it turns like only if you say at um, basic um, 1000 rpms or 800 rpms if you have a little bit of play when you have play inside here because this is fixed you cannot move if this is fixed you don't have any play if this is like this and this bearing it goes up and down up and down the disc here can move like up and down up and down or over the part and you'll have a lot of vibrations and um, in some cases this disc uh, the mechanics told me it was bent mine i don't think is that that bent i cannot spin it uh, fast enough to see if it has a dent on it but uh, let me see no it's not but this fly will now it's rubbish now let's go into the car start it up and uh, start it up and see the final result and now it's normal to, to jiggle like this when you start your car but now look at the shifter it has a little bit of wobble a little little bit of wobble but compared to what I had oh my god you cannot compare it okay so even when you when you are accelerating the car it's pretty stable and you cannot uh, feel the vibration okay so let me put it in first gear and now I'm moving the car and it's moving just a little 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 bit and now in reverse okay and now back to neutral you see now this is a normal shifter shake and uh, nothing to to jerk it okay boys thanks again for watching do subscribe to the channel i'm still trying to put as much of new content that i can but um, i have a lot of work and so little spare time to do this uh, type of um, videos okay thanks again subscribe and drive safe yeah i think yeah and drive safe